Welcome back, I'm Kim Bailey and this is Floral Art Online. Today we're going to have a quick look at the difference between two techniques that often get confused and that's shadowing and sheltering. Now these are techniques, they are not design styles, so it's something that you would use within your design rather than create a design that is a sheltered design or is a, a shadowed design. So the, the emphasis is on the difference between the two and how you can use them in your design. So let's have a look at that. So using this very simplified example of a design, let's look first of all at, shadow, at sheltering rather. Let's look at sheltering first of all. So sheltering is exactly what it says. It is that the focal area, and let's pretend that the pine cone is the focal area of this design. The focal area is sheltered or protected by some other placement within the design. Doesn't have to be big, doesn't have to be heavy. Often it's just a branch with a little bit of foliage that hangs over. If this was more flexible, this sword grass, and we had it, it was drooping down so that it was in that sort of arrangement, then that would be sheltering because it is sheltering the focal point of the design. We could use something that looped over the design. So once again, have it like that so that the focal point of the area is sheltered by this placement. We could have it just partly over so that it, it gives the effect of, of it resting in the shelter. Just think of it in terms of being protected, not covered up, but being protected. So protecting and allowing focus on the main part of your design. On the other hand, if we talk about shadowing, shadowing is designed to give your design depth. So it can be any kind of plant material, but it has to be the same plant material that you use for that shadowing effect. And the way I like to remember it is that it, I think of myself as if I'm looking at the design from the front, the way you are now, I am the light. So where will the shadow fall? So you have a placement that is in one position to give your design depth and behind it, a smaller one that would be the shadow if you were the light where you're looking at it now. So it gives the design depth, it shadows or creates the shadow of the initial placement, which is this one here. These are probably a little bit too big for you to see, but you'll get the idea that it is the placement is one behind the other, space in between one smaller than the other, so that it is the shadow that is cast by you being the light looking at the design. So that's the difference between shadowing and sheltering in very simplified form so that it's easy for you to understand. If you just remember that both of them are techniques, they're not styles of design, they're techniques that you would use within a design, any kind of design. You can use those techniques to enhance your design. So as I said, sheltering and shadowing, I'm Kim Bailey, this is Floral Art Online.